Hey guys, it's Jesse, and in this video, we're gonna be checking out some new clock type puzzles from Shangshao. I gotta say, when I first saw pictures of these, my reaction, and I think a lot of people's reactions was just, why? Why does this exist? And you know what? Maybe there doesn't need to be a why. They just do exist. So let's go ahead and check them out. I wanna start with this smaller one here. So let's go ahead and get into it. Aw. It's so cute. So this is basically just a normal clock, but with three gears and three pins instead of four. So it has more of like this triangle shape now. These pins have very, very low travel distance. So there's really not much movement from in and out. So when the pins are down, it's actually a little, I don't know, it's a little hard to tell. It, it feels like it also is magnetic. These pins definitely have a nice click to them when you move them. And in terms of the overall design, it, it seems like it's a little bit lower quality than like the Qi clocks. These are kind of just uh, pictures that are cut out of paper and stuck on here, it looks like, instead of the designs actually being like printed, imprinted into the plastic. So here is like a Qi clock for size comparison. So it's quite a bit smaller as you can see here. Another thing I'm noticing right off the bat is that the placement of the gears is really awkward. Ideally you would want to solve the clock in this position. Having them here in this position is kind of weird. You got to do this little maneuver to move the gears around. So I want to see how this like works. It should work the same way as a normal clock. If I put these two pins down and have this pin up, it should just be these three that move. Okay. And then if I put this pin down and put this one up, then these three should move. Got it. And then if I put these two up, then all of these will move except for this one. So since this works the same way as a normal clock, I think we can solve it similarly. So that's exactly what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to start scrambling this. I, I think I just, you know, do random movements. Just kind of see what happens here. Um, there we go. Okay. So if these aren't fully aligned properly, the pins get a bit stuck. That's something to look out for. All right, I think that scramble is like pretty fine. So I'm gonna solve this with the same strategy as I would solve a, a normal clock. Normally you would kind of make like a cross, but instead of a cross, we have like a triangle here in the middle. So that's what I'm gonna do first. So I'm gonna pick this clock here and I'm gonna match it to this one. Yeah, all the pins go down, right? And then this one comes up and I match it like that. I want to match these two to this one. So this pin comes up and I match it and then all the pins come up and it goes to 12. Uh, so then we can flip it and then it looks like these two are already matching. So then we just move this one up, match these two clocks to this one. So then we can take these three pieces and match it to this corner piece. So we can do that and then this pin goes down, this one comes up and we match kind of like these four pieces to this one. Oh, it actually already is matched. So. We just need to match these five pieces to this one, like that. And then all of them are gonna come up and that should solve it on both sides, yep. Okay, so I do still remember how to solve a clock. That's that's good, that would be embarrassing if I didn't. Uh, that's pretty fun. I, I think you could probably get really, really low times with a little bit of practice on this puzzle. All right, so let's go ahead and check out this puzzle, the even bigger clock. Wow, I never even noticed this on the side. The practice of the magic clock is a tempering of the will, and the transformation of the magic clock is a test of the practical ability. All right, let's go ahead and check this one out. I'm excited. Oh, all right, that's a big one. So I guess in terms of cubing, this would be like the Mega Minx of clocks. Well, this one is like the Pure Minx of clocks. I don't know. This one has like five pins, uh, five gears here. What's really bugging me about this clock is that the center clock is off center. It's not actually in the middle because they had to make room for this big Shangshao logo here. I think it would look so much better. Just make the logo smaller or like put it in the corner, like something. The movement on this one is pretty much the same. It, like it's really not that great, honestly. It kind of just reminds me of like the old Rubik's clocks. So if I have all the pins down and then this one comes up, these four are gonna move, right? And then if this one comes up, I guess it's like these four. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Again, I just, I wish this was centered. I think it would make it a little more clear. Oh, okay. 
so it doesn't move. It's just these three. Actually, the only way to move this middle one is with the top pin. Let's go ahead and scramble up this one. I want to see uh, how long this will take me to solve for the first time. So I guess what I'm going to do is like pick this middle one and then align it to one of these edge outer like edge ones. So this is actually kind of weird because the only way to move this one here is with this pin, but we need this pin to be down if we want to align these pieces with this one. So I think I actually solved this wrong. What I think you're supposed to do is line up these two with this one first. I'm actually going to align this one to this one like that and then align this one to this one like that. These are like grouped together now and then we can align these three with these. So I'm gonna turn all of these pieces here to match this one. So these three pins come up and then I'm gonna turn that over there and then these three pins come up to move all of these pieces to match with this one like that. And then all the pins come up and we go up to 12. So we're going to flip and do the same thing. We'll align these two to the center one. This one's already aligned. And so we'll just align that one like that. Then we will align these three pieces with this clock. Then we'll align these four clocks with this clock and align the five with the last one. So now like all of our edge pieces are solved basically. And then to solve the corners, this corner is already in. So we want all the pins up except for the pin closest to the one we're solving, which is this one. We're gonna align everything with that pin. This pin's gonna go down. We'll turn everything around to line it up. And this pin goes down, we line it up. This pin goes down, we line it up. Everything goes back up and that should solve it on both sides. Yep, that definitely worked. So yeah, if you know how to solve a clock, both of these puzzles are gonna be really easy, intuitive. Uh, the solving method's the exact same. I guess this one's like a tiny bit different because you have to slightly prioritize which pieces you solve first, but that is really not that hard. I wish the, the turning was a little better. I, I think it could be improved. The overall quality is kind of feels a little cheap. It's just not quite as premium feeling as like the Chi clock, but these are obviously non-WCA puzzles. They're not really meant for like top level speed solving. Oh gosh, I just noticed something that's gonna bug me a lot about these. One of the pins on here is wrong. I think I think this one is the one with the wrong pins. These dark blue colored pins should be on this side and these light blue should be on this side to match this one. So I don't know if they're all like that or if this one's just messed up, but that's a little annoying. So these are titled as a three by three clock and a five by five clock, which kind of implies that this one is a four by four. I don't really think that makes much sense. If you're gonna translate from clock to end by end, this would be a three by three. I think this is like pure minx, mega minx. Anyways, this one is $10 and this one is $18. Yeah, not too bad. If you guys wanna check out these puzzles, the links to both will be in the description. Just to let you guys know, we actually are on TikTok now. We have a new TikTok. Uh, it's the cubicle.official. Come follow us. We're gonna be posting lots of like stupid videos on there, memes, whatever I think of when I'm bored. So yeah, uh, it'll be a fun time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching guys, bye.